find angle from given dot product. This is a huge application of dot product, right? All over. Whenever we need to find angle between vectors, normally we'll use dot product, right? So that is a huge application. So the question here is, calculate to the nearest degree the angle between the given vectors, right? So I'll do one of them and rest you can do, right? So there are three questions here. You can copy them down. Now, as you know by definition, let's say the vectors are A and B. So if we have vector A dot vector B, the result is magnitude of A times magnitude of B times cos of theta, right? Where theta is the angle between the two vectors. Now, if we need to find theta, the angle between the two vectors, then we can rearrange this. We can write cos theta is equals to vector A dot vector B divided by magnitudes, right? Magnitude of A times magnitude of B. That gives us cos theta. And theta will be cos inverse, right? Cos inverse of all this. That is, if dot product is known to us, we know the numerator, right? And their magnitudes are known to us, so we know the denominator. And we can always find cos inverse of a real number and get the real answer. So that is how we calculate angle, provided we know the magnitudes of vectors and their dot product, right? So as an example, let's take up one and then solve it. So let's take this one. So here we know magnitude of A is 8, magnitude of B is 3, and the dot product is 12 square root of 3. So theta should be how much? So that is the derivation of the formula. You can always apply this formula and you get theta equals to cos inverse of dot product is known as 12 square root 3. So we'll write 12 square root 3, that is the dot product of A and B given to us, right? Divided by magnitude of A, 8 times magnitude of B, which is 3. 8 times 3, right? So you can plug this value in the calculator and get the answer, right? So that is how you find angle from the given magnitude and dot product. So this is a very good application. I would like you to calculate this answer and also solve part B and C. So we'll do second function cos inverse and put them in brackets which is 12 square root 3 divided by within bracket divided by 24 I will do right 24 bracket close is equal to 30 degrees. So we get our answer as 30 degrees, correct? So that is how the angle can be found if you know the magnitude of the vectors and their dot product, correct? So try these part B and C. A and B vector values magnitudes of 5 and 1 and the dot product is minus 3. Now this one, A and B, the magnitudes are 3 and 4 respectively and the dot product is zero, right? Interesting. Now, if the dot product is zero, that means what? That means that the vectors are perpendicular. So that is another huge application of dot products. Whenever you want to find perpendicular vectors, dot product should be zero. So in this particular video, you are learning about two applications of dot products. One, to find the angle and second is to figure out if the vectors are perpendicular. Okay, thank you.